Okay, we're now out to drilling out our mortises for our mortise and tenon joints on our upholstered stool. As I said in the previous video, we're going to use the drill to drill it out so that we've got a nice clean mortise. And this is a jig that I've, be, that I've made up to go onto the table so that it'll allow you to drill your mortise out nice and cleanly. It's got a fence which you put your face side of your job up against so that the holes are drilled the right distance away from it. I've got it set so that the drill will be going exactly where we've marked out the mortises and I also have it set so that it will stop when you get to 30 mil down into your timber. So it'll drill out the exact size that you need. Now the process for drilling out the mortise is that you want to start at one end, drill down nice and cleanly. You then want to go to the opposite end of the mortise, drill down nice and cleanly, move towards the middle, drill down nice and cleanly, and then use the drill to slowly clean out the rest of the hole so that you're left with a nice clean joint. The most important thing is that you keep your timber pressed nice and firmly against the fence and that you don't try and force the drill through the timber. I've got it set at a fairly quick speed. It makes it drill a lot easier for you. And most importantly, you need to make sure that you do have your safety gear on, you've got your apron, but more importantly that you have your goggles on for getting rid of any or avoiding any injury to your eyes. So I'll do this mortise here. Take it slowly down until it stops, move to the opposite end, slowly down until it stops, I'm going to get rid of those shavings, now in the middle, all the way down. Now what you can see here, what you can see is that I've got most of the joint drilled out but I need to get rid of the rest of that waste by using the drill. This one's a slow process and you've got to be careful doing it, not to bend the drill bit. Now moving the drill from side to side with the drill all the way down in the bottom of the joint. And what you find is that I'm left with a nice clean mortise joint. It's got rounded ends so we'll end up making the tenons match the mortise. For doing the next joint it's the same, face side against the edge. So there I have my second mortise, I've got my lower one, I've got my top one, and this leg is now done. When you're doing the opposite leg, you still need to make sure that you have the face side against the edge, but it does make doing this joint a little bit difficult because you have to hold the timber very close to the bit. If you're able to switch your hands over, you could try doing that, but it's easy just to do it like this, so I'll get it drilled out as a demonstration. Now I'm keeping my pressure with my thumb
firmly against the timber. I want to get scrap out of the way so it doesn't interfere with it. And I need to make sure that I keep that cleanly against the edge. For doing my main movements now, I can swap my hands over and I'll use my other hand to manage the handle. By doing that, I do get a nice neat mortise and I've been able to hold the timber nice and firmly. So now I'll end up cleaning out the rest of this one as well. legs with mortises drilled into the top and bottom sections of the joint. Now I just need to do the tenons and make them fit into the mortises. <laughs> 